All right, perfect. Well, today we are going to study the places in the city, yes? El día de hoy vamos a estudiar los lugares de la ciudad, vamos a estudiar un poco vocabulario, porque la clase de mañana vamos a, a ver un tema muy relacionado con eh, los lugares de la ciudad. Ok, so, we are going to begin the, with the vocabulary, yes? Here we have the airport, the airport, right? We have the bakery, bakery. How do you say bakery in Spanish? Yes, that's Spanaria. We continue. Here we have the bookstore, bookstore. In the bookstore, we have to pay for the books. Yes, we have to pay, pay for the book the books with money yes the bookstore so and libreria yes you are right we continue butchers butchers look this word is special why butchers significa carnicería right and más adelante vamos a ver el uso de esta postura yes if we say si decimos Butcher, hasta aquí, hasta el aire, butcher. Esto significa carnicero, ¿sí? Yes? Acá ya estamos utilizando es la profesión, butcher, carnicero, right? Pero si decimos butchers, ya estamos diciendo carnicería, the place, ¿sí? Yes? Right, I'm going to erase this. We continue. This is the court. Yes, the court. Similar to Spanish. We continue with the department store. Department store. That is like a shopping center. Yes, una especie de, de centro comercial donde pues es, es un lugar donde hay muchos almacenes. Yes. We continue. Here, fire station. Fire station, yes, fire station, fire station. Pay attention to the pronunciation of this word, fire, fire station. Here we say, we say gas station or petrol station. Gas station or petrol station. Here is the saying, hairdressers, is the place. Hairdressers, este es el lugar, ¿sí? Peluquería, hairdressers. But if I say hairdresser, si yo digo hairdresser, hasta el aire, ¿sí? Hasta acá. I'm talking about the profession. Estoy hablando de la profesión como tal, estilista o peluquero, ¿sí? Pero, si lo digo de esta manera, hairdressers, Acá estoy hablando del lugar peluquería. Yes. We continue. Here, barber shop. Barber shop. Similar to Spanish. Gallery. Yes, similar to Spanish. Gallery. And here we have this place jail jail or prison jail or prison yes we have two options we can say jail or we can also say prison we will see jail or prison here we have the laundrette 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 Yes, lavandería, laundret. We continue with the pharmacy or drugstore. Pharmacy or drugstore. Yes, pharmacy or drugstore. Two options. And here we have this square. Square. Look, square has two meanings. Este, 
esta palabra en inglés tiene dos significados. Puede ser la palabra cuadrado, square, o en este caso hace referencia a un lugar de la ciudad y quiere decir la plaza central de una ciudad, ¿sí? O de un pueblo. Square, plaza, ¿ok? Plaza. Pero si lo encontramos en otros contextos, también puede significar cuadrado, square. We continue. Well, here we have the hospital. Yes, the hospital. Here we have the school. The school. Then we have the supermarket. Supermarket. We also have the drugstore or pharmacy. Look. This is the symbol of health. Este es el símbolo de la salud. Salud en inglés se dice health. Yes. So we say this is the symbol. Symbol of health. El símbolo de la salud. Symbol of health. Y cuando vamos a decir que alguien es saludable o algo es saludable, la palabra saludable se dice healthy. Healthy. Yes. So remember this green cross esta cruz verdecita con estos símbolos de acá hace referencia a la salud yes so symbol of health healthy drugstores and pharmacies use this las droguerías o farmacias utilizan este símbolo yes this symbol they use this symbol we continue here we have the stadium stadium yes the stadium And we have the mosque. Look, mosque quiere decir mezquita. Sí, esto eh, hace parte de, de la religión musulmana, si no estoy mal. Son estos templos, sí, son templos de esta religión en específico. Mosque, una mezquita, right? So it is good to learn this vocabulary. We continue here, police station, police station. It's right, similar to Spanish. And here we have the library. Library. This is different, is different from bookstore. It's different from bookstore because in the bookstore we have to pay. Yes? In the bookstore we have to pay. In the library it's not necessary to pay. Yes? So that is the difference. We continue. Here we have the park, right? Park. Cinema, cinema. And we have the coffee shop, coffee shop. Yes, the coffee shop. Look, entre los idiomas, y a lo largo del, del tiempo de la historia los idiomas se han prestado palabras y son palabras que ya se quedan en la cultura de, de los otros idiomas, por decirlo así. En inglés también se puede decir café. Yes. We can say coffee shop or café. Two options. Sí, podemos decir. Eh, o nos podemos referir a una cafetería con estas dos opciones. Coffee shop or café. Right. We continue. Here we have the restaurant, the restaurant. Then we have the zoo, right? The zoo, the pronunciation is with U, zoo. We also have the train station, train station, or the other possibility is railway station, railway station. La estación del tren o la estación de la vía férrea. Railway quiere decir vía férrea. Ok. We have two options. Train station or railway station. Here we have the airport again. Here's the airport. 
And here we have the post office. Post office. I'm going to raise this. All right. Well, in this post office, we sent letters. Yes? Letters. Cartas. Recordemos que esta palabra letters puede significar letras o cartas. En este caso, cartas. Yes? Letters. Here we have the green grocers. Green grocers. Remember, um, green grocers. Esto es una verdulería. This is the place. Este es el lugar. Pero si yo digo green grocer, hasta aquí, hasta la R, green grocer, ya pasa a ser la profesión. En este caso, verdulero o verdulero. Es yes, la persona que vende um, las verduras, las frutas y esto. So, Green grocer, the profession. Green grocers, green grocers, the place. Yes. We continue. Here we have butchers. Butchers, carnicería. Yes, remember. Butcher, carnicero. Butchers, car carnicería, butcher, carnicero. Here we have bakery, bakery, panadería, yes, remember, bakery. We have the court, similar to Spanish, this is similar to Spanish. We have the gym, yes, gym. And we have the parking, parqueadero o estacionamiento. Tenemos también tres opciones para referirnos a un estacionamiento. Podemos decir parking o parking lot. Parking o parking lot. Y también hay otra opción que es car park. Parking lot, parking, car park. Three options. Yes, three options. We continue. Well, here we have the vocabulary together. Acá ya tenemos el vocabulario junto. Y algunas palabritas que vamos a aprender. So, we have the traffic lights. Traffic lights. La palabra solita, lights, lights, quiere decir luces. Yes? Traffic lights. Ya me hace referencia a esa semáforos. Here, street. La calle, street. And how do you say a square in Spanish? How do you say a square in Spanish? Plaza Central. Very good. La Plaza Central de en una ciudad o de un pueblito. ¿sí? Estamos viendo lugares de la ciudad. Entonces, me hace referencia a esto. Yes. Zebra crossing. Zebra crossing is this. Yes, zebra crossing. We have the pavement. Pavement. What do you think it's a pavement? ¿Qué piensan que es un pavement? What is that? Pavimento. Yes. Zona peatonal. Very good. Well, um, in my city, in mi ciudad le decimos andén. Es el lugar por donde los peatones caminan, anden, yes? no sé en, en las ciudades de ustedes, ¿cómo se refieren a esto? Acera, sí, una acera, la acera. All right, we continue, here we have the park, park, yes, railway station, we have here the train, yes, railway station, and here we have the bar or the cafe, bar or the cafe. We continue. Here we have the factory. Factory. How do you say factory in Spanish? Yes, very good, Luz and Paula. That is fábrica. Yes, fábrica. Supermarket. Cinema. Bank. Banco. Yes, bank. 
पर्स्ट ऑफिस पर्स्ट ऑफिस स्कूल होटल हॉस्पिटल देन वी हैव द एयरपोर्ट एयरपोर्ट स्टेडियम रेस्टोरेंट एंड द कार पार्क वी कैन आल्सो से पार्किंग लॉट और पार्किंग यस थ्री ऑप्शंस पार्किंग लॉट और पार्किंग All right. We are going to do this exercise online. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio en línea. Ya les voy a mandar acá el link. Se los voy a poner en el chat para las personas que quieran eh, realizar este ejercicio de nuevo y practicar un poco. It's very easy. I'm going to share the screen. Les voy a compartir la pantalla por acá del ejercicio. So wait a second. All right. Are we seeing the web page? Yes. Is um, it's blue. We have the as title places in the city. We have 14 questions. Yes. Estamos viendo la página web. Yes. Okay, perfect. Well, this is very easy. Here we have an image. Yes. And you are going to tell me what is the correct option for that image, for that place. So B. Cinema, correct. Hi. Wait a second. Toca refrescar un poquito la página. No voy a girar. Okay, B. We continue. Number two. What is this place? What is this place? B, hotel. Yes, hotel. Well, remember the church. Church. Quiere decir iglesia. Yes, church. We continue. Number three. What is this place? Park. Yes, very easy. Here, what is this place? School, yes. Number five, what is this place? Very easy. Yes, the hospital. The hospital. Number six, what is this place? Yes. Because of this red symbol, we say that it's a restaurant. Number seven, what is this place? What is this place? Yes, so bus stop. That is paradero. Yes, bus stop. Number eight, what is this place? Very good, Camila, Victoria. Railway station, railway station. Here, what is this place? Supermarket, supermarket. Here, what is this place? Yes, church, Iglesia, church. What is this place? Airport, very easy. Number 12, what is this place? B, bank. Number 13, what is this place? Post office. And finally, what? Is this place? What is this place? A cafe. Very good. Okay, students, remember to study this vocabulary for tomorrow. Yes, this is very important for me because tomorrow we are going to see another topic. 
eh, necesitamos repasar mucho este vocabulario para la clase de mañana. Mañana vamos a ver un tema que se llama dando y preguntando direcciones, ¿sí? Las direcciones eh, de una ciudad. Vamos a ver temas como cómo llegar a cierta, eh, a cierta ubicación en un mapa. Entonces debemos saber los, eh, los lugares de la ciudad, ¿sí? All right, students, hello. Well, I was telling you that this uh, topic is very important. Eh, les estaba contando, comentando que este tema es muy importante porque el día de mañana vamos a ver las direcciones, ¿sí? Cómo preguntar por una dirección y cómo dar una dirección, cómo ubicarnos. Eh, vamos a ver el vocabulario de, de este tema, de cómo ubicarnos en la ciudad, entonces necesitamos que... Eh, que este tema quede claro, sí, la, el vocabulario de, de, las, de los lugares de la ciudad. Eh, entonces, vamos a repasar este tema para la clase del día de mañana, ¿sí? ¿Alguna duda, alguna pregunta? La podemos hacer acá en clase para que el día de mañana nos podamos centrar en, en el tema de giving directions, ¿sí? Dando direcciones. Eh, sí, vamos a ver algunas preposiciones. Recuerden que nosotros ya vimos preposiciones de lugar. Vamos a utilizarlas de nuevo. Y vamos a ver el eh, nuevo vocabulario. Yes. All right. Bueno, voy a eh, compartirles de nuevo acá el PDF. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio con el PDF. With the vocabulary. All right. So look. Here we have some images. Yes. Tenemos algunas imágenes. Some images. And at the end we have a word bank. In this word bank, we have the vocabulary. Yes, we have the vocabulary. So we have school, post office, charge, cinema, park, hotel, bakery, swimming pool, bank, supermarket, hospital, and railway station. Remember that these two words are together, together, yes, juntas. Estas dos palabras van juntas. Es una opción, eh, esta es una sola opción, railway station, es una sola opción. La palabra juntas en inglés se dice together o juntos, together, yes, together. All right, so these are the options, estas son las opciones. Yo voy a ir señalando cada imagen and you are going to tell me what is the correct Um, name or what is the correct place? ¿Cuál es el lugar correcto para cada una de las imágenes? Yes. So, number one, what is this place? The bank. Yes, very good. This is the bank. Number two, what is this place? Very good, Luz. Very good, John. Post office. Number three. What is this place? Number three. Park. Yes, very easy. Park. Number four. What is this place? Image number four. Very good, Luz. That is school. We continue here. Bueno, esta imagen nos puede servir para muchos lugares, ¿sí? Yes, podemos decir green grocers. Podríamos decir que es una verdulería, green grocers. Supermarket, um, as very small supermarket, maybe. What else? Café, yes, maybe. Bookstore, maybe. Bakery, yes. Well, according to this exercise, this is the bakery. De acuerdo a este ejercicio, esta es la panadería, bakery. Pero la imagen realmente se presta para, para que nosotros la asociemos con muchas más palabras. Yes, that's good, that's correct. We continue. What is this 
place at the cinema. Cinema. We continue. What is this place? Hmm, but we have like a train here. Train, yes. Kind of a train. Train station, but there was another word. The other option. How do you say that in the other option? Railway station, yes. So we can say train station or railway station. Railway station. We continue. What is this place? Very good, Victoria. So that is church. That is a church. This image, what is this place? Yes, the hospital. This image, what is this place? Yes, so look, here we have some, or we have a key. Acá tenemos una llave. Llave in English se dice key. Yes. So that is the hotel. Hotel. Yes. We continue here. What is this place? Yes. So the swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. And here, what is this place? Supermarket. Supermarket. Right? Well, here we have some exercises, but they are um, for reading, yes? Acá ya tenemos unos ejercicios, pero son de lectura. So we have plans for the weekend. Planes para el fin de semana. Weekend, fin de semana. Right. So, first, we have the theater. Primero tenemos el teatro por acá. For this exercise, I need some volunteers. Para este ejercicio necesito algunos voluntarios que quieran leer cuáles son los planes para cada lugar. En este caso, el teatro. The theater. Yes. So, Diana, Diana Lopez. And the first? Yes, please. Uh, I'm going to go there with three friends. Yes. And number two, please. Uh, we're going to go on Friday evening. Number three. We're going to wear nice clothes. Yes, number four. We're going to book the tickets in advance. Yes, and number five. We're going to see a musical. Yes, thank you very much, Diana. You have a very good pronunciation. All right. So, look, I'm going to clarify the vocabulary. Vamos a aclarar un poco el vocabulario y las expresiones. Yes. Number one. I'm going to go there with three friends. I'm going to, voy a ir. I'm going to go, voy a ir, yes? Allá, there, allá. I'm going to go there with three friends. Con, con tres amigos, with three friends, yes? Number two, we are going to go on Friday evening. We are going to go on Friday evening. Vamos a ir el viernes en la noche. Yes. We are going to go on Friday evening. Here, we are going to wear nice clothes. We are going to wear nice clothes. Vamos a usar o llevar puesto eh, 
ropa bonita. Nice clothes. Yes. Number four, we are going to book the tickets in advance. So, in this case, book, recordemos, pues, es la palabra libro, pero en este caso es un verbo y quiere decir reservar. Vamos a reservar los boletos, los tickets, in advance, quiere decir in advance, con antelación, con anticipación, right? So, we are going to book the tickets in advance. Vamos a reservar los tiquetes, los boletos, eh, con antelación. And finally, number five, we are going to see a musical. Vamos a ver un musical. Sí, es el verbo ver, right? Ok, we continue. Library, another volunteer to read the plans for the library. Victoria, thank you. ¿Sí me escucha, teacher? Yes, perfect. Ok. I'm going to take some school books with me. Yes. I'm going to study for my history exam. Yes. I'm going to be very quiet. Yes. I'm going to use my membership card. Correct. I'm going to borrow some books from there. Very good. And thank you very much. You have a very good pronunciation, Victoria. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. All right, we are going to clarify the vocabulary. Number one, I'm going to take some school books with me. This is, voy a llevarme, ¿sí? Take with me, como llevarme, voy a llevarme algunos libros del colegio, ¿sí? Number two, I'm going to study for my history exam. Voy a estudiar para mi examen de historia, Yes. Number three, I'm going to be very quiet. Voy a ser muy silenciosa. Quiet. Right, silenciosa. Voy a estar muy silenciosa. Number four, I'm going to use my membership card. Voy a usar mi membresía. Esto quiere decir membresía. Member, membership card. Membresía. And finally, number five, I'm going to borrow some books from there. Voy a prestar, sí, borrow es prestar, pedir prestado, some books, algunos libros, algunos libros, de allá, de allá, from there. Okay? Remember, we say, decimos, aquí, here. Y si vamos a decir allá, Supongamos, allá, entonces decimos, there. Here, there. Aquí, allá. Ok, here, there. Well, we continue. Disco, the disco. I need another volunteer to read the plans for the disco. No me están cargando los mensajes. Al segundo. A uh, volunteer, no, no volunteers. All right, perfect. Marcela. Hola, teacher, me escucha. Hello, yes, perfect. My brother going to go with some friends. Yes. He's going to go uh, on Saturday evening. Yes. We're going to pay to get inside. Yes. He's going to have a lot of fun. Yes. He's going to dance all night long. Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Marcela, you have a very good pronunciation too. 
All right, we are going to clarify the vocabulary. Number one, my brother's going to go with some friends. Mi hermano, recordemos, mi hermano va a ir con algunos amigos, with some friends. Con algunos amigos, with some friends. Number two, is going to go there. El va a ir allá. On Saturday evening. El sábado en la noche. Evening. Sábado en la noche. We continue. He's going to pay to get inside. Él va a pagar. Pay es pagar. To get inside para entrar. Get inside en este caso. Entrar. Number four. He's going to have a lot of fun. Esto es una expresión que quiere decir él se va a divertir demasiado. ¿Sí? Divertir demasiado. Lo podríamos traducir como él va a tener mucha, mucha diversión. Él va a tener mucha diversión, pero yo creo que diría que la uh, traducción correcta es él se va a divertir demasiado. Yes. Es como más lógico. Number five. He's going to dance all night long. He's going to dance all night long. Él va a bailar. A bailar. Toda la noche. All night long. Toda la noche. Right? Here we have the post office. I need another volunteer to read the post office. Me. All right, Eric, thank you. I'm going to take some money with me. Yes. I'm going to pick up a number to wait for my turn. Yes. I'm, I'm going to cook for a while. Yes. I'm going to take a parcel with me. Yes. I'm going to send the parcel to my grandmother. Yes, very good, Eric. You have a very good pronunciation too. All right, we are going to clarify the vocabulary. So, number one, I'm going to take some money with me. What is this? Voy a eh, sacar dinero para mí. Si en este caso podría ser como sacar dinero. Take some money with me. Dinero, un poco de dinero. Yes, some money. Number two. I'm going to pick up a number to wait for my turn. Pick up. En este caso, voy a eh, coger un número, ¿sí? Para esperar. Wait, esperar. Eh, for my turn. For mi turno, ¿sí? Esperar mi turno. I'm going to pick up a number to wait for my turn. Number three. I'm going to queue for a while. Look, queue puede significar hacer fila. En este caso significa hacer fila como tal, el verbo hacer fila. O puede significar una fila, ¿sí? I'm going to queue. Esto significa voy a hacer la fila for a while, por un rato, ¿ok? For a while, por un rato. Number four, I'm going to take a parcel with me. Parcel, esto quiere decir encomienda, is this, yes, encomienda. I'm going to take a parcel with me. Voy a recoger una encomienda, sí, sería la traducción. And number five, I'm going to send, send, voy a enviar, the parcel to my grandmother. The parcel to my grandmother. What is this? What is number five in Spanish? How do you say I'm going to send the parcel to my grandmother? Very good, Luz. Voy a enviarle una encomienda a mi abuela. Yes. 
All right, we continue. Here we have the stadium, yes? And so we have Camila, yes? Camila, where is Camila? Ayala. You wanted to be a volunteer, right? All right, Camille. So you can put your microphone on. Yep. Um, puedes poner el micrófono. Are you having problems with the microphone? Oh my God. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry, Camille. We can... Do it again in another class, yes? Students, I need another volunteer. Another volunteer because Camille cannot. Otro voluntario por acá para leer el stadium. Lady, perfect. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, okay. I am going to go there with some friends. Yes. We're going to there on Sunday afternoon. Yes. We're going to just quit a lot. Yes. We're going to watch a sport event. Yes. We're going to support our favorite team. It's very good. Thank you very much, lady. Right. We, are going to, we are going to clarify the vocabulary, right? So, number one, I'm going to go there with some friends. Voy a ir allá con algunos amigos, yes? With some friends. Number two, we are going to go there on Sunday afternoon. Vamos a ir allá el domingo. In la tarde. On Sunday afternoon. El domingo en la tarde. Number three. We are going to shoot quite a lot. Vamos a gritar. Shoot es el verbo gritar. Quite. To shoot quite a lot. Number four. We are going to watch a sports event. We are going to watch a sports event. So that is, vamos a observar ¿sí? un evento deportivo. A sports event. And finally, we have, we are going to support our favorite team. Support, apoyar. Vamos a apoyar nuestro Equipo favorito, yes. Remember that team, team quiere decir equipo. Eh, no solamente se refiere a un equipo de fútbol, un equipo de baloncesto, ¿no? puede ser un equipo de trabajo, un equipo de estudio, ¿sí? Equipo, team, equipo, right? Ok, we continue. So, the last volunteer. Necesitamos el último voluntario para leer por acá los planes para el gimnasio. The plans for the gym. So, the last volunteer. El último voluntario por acá. All right, perfect. Jessica. So... These ones. My sister's going to go there on Saturday morning. Very good. She's going to carry her sports bag. Yes. She's going to sweat a lot. Yes. She's going to do a lot of physical. Uh, exercise. Yes. She's going to follow on aerobic 
course. Very good. Thank you very much, Jesse. So we are going to clarify here the um, vocabulary. Number one, my sister is going to go there on Saturday morning. Mi hermana, recordemos, mi hermana va a ir allá. ¿Qué día? Saturday morning. El sábado en la mañana. Yes, Saturday morning. Number two, she's going to carry her sports bag. Ella va a cargar su morral o maleta de deportes. Her sports bag. Number three, she's going to sweat a lot. Ella va a sudar mucho. A lot quiere decir mucho. Sweet es el verbo sudar. Yes, in this case. Number four. She's going to do a lot of exercise. Ella va a hacer mucho eh, ejercicio físico. Yes, physical exercise. She's going to do a lot of physical exercise. And finally, number five, she's going to follow an aerobics course. Ella va a seguir, este es el verbo seguir, follow, an aerobics course, un curso de aerobics, right? Okay. To finish, I'm going to read these two other plans para terminar la clase. Vamos a leer estos dos últimos planes para el museo y la iglesia. Y la iglesia right? Remember, we say, we say museum. Museum. Yes, this is the correct pronunciation. So, I'm going to read them. Number one, I'm going to go there with my family. Voy a ir allá con mi familia. Number two, We are going to pay to get inside. Vamos a pagar para entrar. Get inside, entrar. Number three, we aren't going to touch any of the valuable things inside. Acá sí, no vamos a, no vamos a tocar. Este es el verbo tocar. No vamos a tocar ninguna de las cosas, things, cosas valiosas. Adentro. We aren't going to touch any of the valuable things inside. Number four, we aren't going, sorry, we are going to follow and listen to a guide. Vamos a seguir y escuchar un guía. We are going to follow and listen to a guide. Number five, We are going to learn a lot about uh, art. Vamos a aprender, learn, aprender mucho acerca del arte, about art. We are going to learn a lot about art. And finally, we have the church. Finalmente tenemos la iglesia, the church. So we have number one. Ay. Number one, I'm going to go there with my family. Voy a ir allá con mi familia. Number two, I'm going to go on Sunday morning. Voy a ir el domingo en la mañana. Number three, we are going to be quiet inside. Vamos a estar silenciosos o en silencio adentro. Yes, inside. We are going to be there till the end of the mass. Vamos a estar allá. Yes. Till quiere decir hasta. Hasta el final de la misa. Mass quiere decir misa. So I'm going to repeat number four. We are going to be there till the end of the mass. Vamos a estar allá hasta el final de la misa. And finally, number five, we have, we are going to pray and listen to the priest. We are going to pray and listen to the priest. Vamos a orar y a escuchar el sacerdote. Yes, we are going to pray and listen to the priest. All right, students, questions or doubts about um, the topic of today, of today's topic? Preguntas o dudas acerca de, del día de hoy, clase del día de hoy, el vocabulario. 
Ok, chicos, recuerden, les queda de tareita repasar el vocabulario. El vocabulario de los lugares de la ciudad, porque mañana vamos a ver un tema que es cómo preguntar por una dirección y cómo eh, dar las direcciones de, de una ubicación, ¿sí? Entonces necesitamos tener claro este vocabulario, ¿ok? Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Yes, 2 p.m. Please be. All right. So thank you very much. Take care and study the vocabulary.